All right, so scientists, some, are sounding the alarm on a so-called solar superstorm that could, and this is important, underline the word could, eventually wipe out the internet for weeks or even months. On the night of Friday, May 10th, 2024, Earth experienced its most significant G5 geomagnetic storm since 2003. This powerful storm illuminated night skies globally with a breathtaking display of the northern lights, visible across Europe, the United States, and even as far away as New Zealand. While the celestial show was a marvel to witness, G5 geomagnetic storms are not without their dangers. These intense storms have the potential to disrupt modern infrastructure, inducing strong currents in power grids and interfering with satellite communication signals. In the United States, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, initially issued a severe G4 geomagnetic storm alert. However, by Friday evening, conditions escalated to extreme G5 levels, the highest on the space weather scale. This marked the first such event since the Halloween storm of October 2003, which notably caused power outages in Sweden and damaged transformers in South Africa. Given the magnitude of this event, one might wonder about the potential implications. But should we be worried? Before we dive into this video, smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our latest content. A geomagnetic storm, or a magnetic storm, is a temporary disturbance in the Earth's magnetosphere caused by solar wind activity. While these solar winds can create beautiful auroras in the sky, they can also cause potential disturbances in satellite communications and power grids. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Space Weather Prediction Center, SWPC, uses a G scale to rate the strength of these solar storms, ranging from G1, which is minor, to G5, which is extreme. Initially, the current storm was rated at a G4 severity level, indicating a severe storm. However, as the storm progressed, its intensity increased, ultimately reaching the highest level of G5. What makes this event particularly rare is its severity. Even when initially classified as a G4 storm, it would have been the first of such intensity to impact Earth since January 2005. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, the difference between a G4 and a G5 storm is significant. A G4 storm can cause widespread power problems or glitches, while a G5 storm has the potential to trigger complete blackouts and collapse power grids. The visibility of auroras also varies with storm intensity. A G4 storm can make auroras visible as far south in the U.S. as Alabama or Northern California, while a G5 storm can allow auroras to be seen as far south as Florida and Southern Texas. While it's a relief to know that geomagnetic storms don't impact human health directly, these events can still significantly disrupt human activities by affecting power grids, communication devices, and satellite operations. Astronauts in space are also at risk. This is why NOAA developed a five-level scale to rate incoming geomagnetic activity, providing a crucial method to assess potential impacts. The first level, G1, is classified as minor. G1 storms can cause weak power grid fluctuations and minor impacts on satellite operations. However, they also create a spectacular display of the northern lights in places like Canada and Alaska. NOAA estimates that G1 conditions occur on average for about 900 days during an 11-year solar cycle. The next level, G2, is considered moderate. During G2 storms, high-latitude power systems might experience voltage alarms, and prolonged G2 activity could damage transformers. Additionally, HF radio communication may suffer disruptions at higher latitudes. G3 is the next level on the scale and is classified as strong. When geomagnetic storms reach this level, they can cause intermittent problems with satellite navigation and low-frequency radio navigation, as well as sporadic HF radio communications. Power systems may require voltage corrections and false alarms could be triggered on some protection devices. According to NOAA, the northern lights during a G3 storm can be visible as far south as Washington, Oregon, and Illinois. These conditions are expected to occur on average about 130 days per 11-year solar cycle. The G4 level is considered severe. At this level, 
power system administrators might face widespread voltage control issues. Satellites and space operations could experience surface charging and tracking problems. Satellite navigation might be degraded for hours. HF radio propagation would be sporadic, and low-frequency radio navigation could be disrupted. However, the northern lights could be seen as far south as Alabama and Northern California during a G4 storm. Forecasters estimate that these severe conditions occur around 60 days over an 11-year solar cycle. The highest level on the scale is G5, which is considered extreme. Fortunately, such intense geomagnetic storms are relatively rare. When they do occur, power systems may face widespread voltage control problems, and some grid systems might experience complete collapse or blackouts, with transformers suffering damage. Pipeline currents could reach hundreds of amps. HF radio propagation might be impossible in many areas for one to two days, and satellite navigation could be degraded for days. However, if the skies are clear, a spectacular display of the northern lights might be visible as far south as Florida and Texas. These extreme conditions are expected to occur only about four days per 11-year solar cycle, with geomagnetic storms being capable of affecting power grids, communication devices, and satellite operations. Facing a G5 storm, which is the highest on the scale, could mean significant disruptions to modern life. Power grids could face extensive voltage control issues, leading to widespread blackouts. Damaged transformers would require significant repairs, resulting in prolonged power outages that could last days or even weeks, impacting homes, businesses, and essential services. Communication networks would be critically affected as well. High frequency HF radio crucial for aviation, maritime operations, and emergency services, could be inoperative for one to two days. This disruption would hinder emergency responses and the coordination of rescue operations. Additionally, satellite navigation systems, vital for aviation, maritime navigation, and everyday GPS services, could be degraded for several days, leading to delays, rerouted flights, and challenges in daily commuting and logistics. Pipeline currents might surge to hundreds of amps as well, threatening the structural integrity of pipelines and causing operational disruptions in the oil and gas industry. This could affect fuel supply and distribution, leading to shortages and increased prices. Furthermore, the timing systems used in financial transactions could be disrupted, leading to synchronization issues and potential economic instability. Facing a G5 geomagnetic storm would disrupt daily life, challenge infrastructure resilience, and necessitate robust emergency preparedness and response measures. What's even more concerning is that not only is Earth currently dealing with a G5 storm, but geomagnetic storms are predicted to occur more frequently in the coming years as the Sun transitions into the solar maximum phase of its 11-year cycle. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you have yet to do so. Be sure to hit that notification bell as well if you don't want to miss out on our upcoming videos.